Hello, my name is Lou, uh, and welcome to Tap That Axe. I am going to um, show you how I tap scales here, um, and using really four notes per string, uh, two notes usually done with uh, each hand. I like to sort of balance out uh, the work of each hand here. What you heard there was a uh, G major just run or scale there, um, and I added some patterns into this as well. So. Uh, the first one we're going to go over, and just to uh, get down the actual um, scale pattern, and let's go over that right now, which is just the G major um, scale. All right, so here we go. G major, starting with a uh, hammer, usually from nowhere, onto the G, our third fret. Right here, uh, basically the first shape is uh, what I title an X shape. And then, which is whole step, whole step, half, hopefully you can see that. Uh, if we move up the scale, we skip to the uh, actual fifth fret now. So we're going up four notes per string, so we're going to jump up the neck. Uh, we're going to do the same exact pattern that you just seen there is what I call the X. Which is whole step, whole step, uh, it's five, seven, nine, ten. And that's what we got so far. Okay, from there we go up um, to the seventh fret, hammer from nowhere, and you are going to hammer on to the ninth, and then you are going to tap on to the tenth, and tap on. So here now, you can see the half step is in the middle. And this is a shape called the shape. Just to make it easy. And then, from there, we're going to jump up to the next string and do the exact same shape. Uh, starting from the ninth fret, so it was 9, 11, 12, 14. So what you'll see is the uh, half step coming in here, right there, and then the half step switches to the middle. Okay, uh, we're going to jump up um, from there to the B note, uh, 12th fret, and we're going to do a half step, and then whole, whole step, and whole step. So here's a new shape, which is half, whole, whole which I call a Z shape. And we go up to the next string, the first string, and we are going to tap uh, from nowhere onto the 14 and do the same exact shape, Z shape. And so we have three shapes, X, Y, and Z. And it'll make sense a little bit later as we kind of go through each of the shapes here. So one of the patterns that I do that's probably um, not really, uh, it's an odd grouping, it's basically 10 notes. And um, it just makes it easier to sort of uh, do this one quite a bit. Which I just go up the scale and kind of. Uh, let me start it this way on this one. So I go. That's the first pattern, really. Which is just going up. Let's check that one out up close.
right. So G major scale, work on that scale there. Okay, you have it down, make it really comfortable. Work on the three shapes, really understand the shapes. Basically, you have whole step, whole step, half is your X shape. Um, the next shape, which is the uh, Y shape. And then the Z shape. So, have fun and tap away. Till next time, I'm Lou, and thank you for joining me. Tap that axe.